Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there is no chance of electrocution. Also, be sure to turn off the gas to your appliance. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the idler pulley assembly in a Whirlpool dryer. It's going to be a very easy repair, should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a quarter inch nut driver and a 3 8 socket wrench. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new idler pulley assembly. The main reason why the idler pulley assembly would need to be replaced is if the shaft wears out, causing the idler pulley to squeak. Unplug the dryer and pull it out of the wall far enough so you can work behind it. Loosen up the clamp and take off the vent hose from the dryer. Using the quarter inch nut driver, remove all the screws that hold the rear access panel, including the power cord cover plate. Here, as you can see, is the drum drive belt, the other pulley assembly with the other arm spring on the side, and the other arm bolt in the center. Take a picture of how the belt, the other arm spring, and the other pulley assembly are installed, and then push the other pulley arm to the left and release the drive belt. Release the other arm spring from the arm and the motor bracket. Please. Pay attention to which end of the spring goes where. Using the 3 8 socket wrench, unscrew the other arm bolt and remove the other pulley assembly. This is the old other pulley assembly next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from AppliancePartsPros.com. To install the new idler pulley assembly, make sure that the other arm actuator is installed underneath the belt switch actuator. Thread the other arm bolt manually and then tighten it with the 3 8 inch socket wrench. Install the other arm spring into the mounting holes in the motor bracket and the other pulley arm. Refer to the picture you took earlier and install the drum drive belt. At this point, plug the dryer in and turn it on to check if everything is installed properly. Unplug the dryer, install the bottom lip of the rear panel or the cabinet, Push it in and secure it with the quarter inch screws. And then we can put the power cord cover plate in. Reattach the dryer vent hose. Plug the dryer in, turn the gas on and make sure the dryer operates correctly. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other repair videos available on our site, on Facebook, and on YouTube.